It's a 2014 Hyundai Santa Fe Sport. On this episode of shooting parts at cars, dealing with the door ajar indicator. And on these newer models, there's no switch inside the door jam. It's actually integrated inside the lock mechanism. So what I want to do, go over some basic PID data, parameter identifications, and we can look and see if the door or jar switch is being acknowledged. But on this one, it's not considered like door jar. I think it's called courtesy switch or something like that. But what we're going to do, we're going to look at the driver's side because it works and just compare it to the passenger side because it's, it's not working. The door is closed. I mean, it's, I can... It's closed. It's not doing anything. It's just staying stuck open. So we're going to spend about, hopefully, hopefully about 10 minutes just going over some data and go from there. And we'll, once we pull this panel off, we'll go through some basic tests. Let's go to diagnosis. Let's go to, to the control unit. We're going to find the door lock module. So we're going to go to the driver's side and compare that with the passenger side. Here you go, DDM, driver door module right here. I'm gonna pull up live data. So here's all the information that's available for the driver door module, but we just need to pretty much go here with the, it says courtesy lamp, but there's a lamp on the outside on the the um what do you call this thing the side mirror and i think that's probably what that is but i'm just going to load those both up because they both interact but here's the driver door switch it's blatant it's a driver door switch i know switch but being that these two work together let's just pull them both up so i'm going to open the driver door We see it responds and was off. Now it's on. I'm gonna close it. They go back off. Okay, so let's now. Oh, one more thing. We see it ref reflects. There you go. My little car icon reflects. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go into the passenger. So we got the driver door module and it's going to be in this assist door module for the passenger side go to live data and we should be able to go down to the same parameters uh there's the door door lock switch okay assist open courtesy lamp Okay, so those are stuck on, and with in comparison to the driver door, it needs to be in the off state, and this is why we have an illuminating door jar light. So we're going to pull this panel off, we're going to test those wires, and based off the wiring diagram, it should be, look like a ground side should get sent back to the door module and that will be the indication so logically i'd imagine when we disconnect that component it should go off because based on the wiring diagram it's just the micro switch that gets sent to ground and it'll cause the light to come on removing the panel is pretty easy just take off this piece here whatever this piece is called i'm just going to let that dangle and you can just fully disconnect it and then the panel, there's a access hole here. Pull that off. Pull that, oh gosh, pull that tab down. There's a Phillips in there. And there's a Phillips in here. And then you just pry everything back. Pull it off. Let's see our wires. These are the wires that go to our locking actuator 
you know if you can get your hands in there I, I, it's it's up in there so i it would be a good idea to just disconnect it and see if it works or not but being that we can't gain that good of an access we're just going to take it's a white wire if i recall properly i'm going to pull the wiring diagram again but it should be a white wire down here and that's the wire that goes back to the um courtesy lamp that's what grounds it out that should not have ground on it and if it do then there's something going on with the micro switch inside this lock actuator let me get this wire accessible i just went ahead and disconnected the connector going to the switch for the passenger side what i'm going to do this is a constant power power source since we're looking for a ground i just took a cotter pin the smallest one i got and i'm just going to go right into the back I can back probably go right in the front or whatever. I'm just going to go right in the back, though. Uh, I, yeah, could I just go to the front? This is small enough. It'll hold a lot better. Yeah, we can just do that. This is a live wire. My test light should illuminate. Yeah, so we're good there. Now, again, we were looking for a ground. We're looking for a ground on the white wire. Some leverage I can just screw it in there I'm gonna tear it up this way <laughs> there you go so my light is illuminating let me see if I can back the camera out there you go you can see it so this wire is grounded This white one here and it's the only white looking wire in this bunch here that's going up to the door lock mechanism so let's pull the connector out and see if it still holds a ground signal I'm just gonna pull straight out like that just like that and then I should just be able to pull all the tins off of here. So I got to roll the window down to these points here, pull the window out and I'll tape it up. So that's not gonna that's not gonna work. parts to see those tins down there so what it is when you put the screw and tighten it up it clasps those fingers together and that's what keeps the window steady and there's like a rubber grommet in the middle of it I'm gonna back off a little bit I should have the window loose. Remove the entire bolt. The right side, you just leave it loose.
managed to get it disconnected and with the look at the courtesy light or oh, the light there and it's it's still on but the battery is dying let me charge the battery up i managed to get the panel off got everything disconnected here's a switch here here's that white wire we were testing now I do have my test light hooked up. It's down here somewhere, right here. So if we test the test light, we got power. Let's test for that ground. White wires right here. All right, it's not illuminating, which indicate that we don't have a ground signal now I do have the module disconnected, um, so I'd, uh, I'd imagine because that's disconnected. But then again, I had disconnected already and it's still displayed on. Right now, it's off. There's no door jar light because there's no ground here. So let's let me physically pull out the lock mechanism. We'll get that out, and then we'll connect it, and then we'll be able to see things happen right in front of our face versus it being fixed and not being able to literally see it. So we're going to use a T30. Is that what was that? Finally got a door lock actuator raw. What you have to do, these ears right here, take a flathead and you just lift up on them where does it sit they'll sit right there and you just pry up on one side one corner it'll lift up and then you can separate it and from there you just manipulate it and move it around push this lock in here and then you'll be able to squeeze it out I just didn't have any room to film all this stuff, but it's simple. Take a flathead, pry those ears up, lift up and lift it out. It'll be loose, and then you can move the wiring harness that's looped up at the top here. Take that out, move it around. You may have to move some things, push some stuff, and you'll get it out. This lock here, this ball just sits in a pocket, and you just pull it out, and that's it. Just make note where it's going. But anyway, let's plug this back in and see if we have any ground signal, which we should. Right there, just to expose a little bit of wire, but yeah, pierce it, it's on, and then as soon as we pull it off, it goes right back off. When we had it disconnected, right now it's illuminating let's disconnect it and it's off let's plug it in while I got it connected so we'll short it out let's put the new one in and see what happens Y'all know I frequently patronize O'Reilly, so we have a bittersweet relationship. This is the door module for the front right side the passenger. Part number is going to be DLA1593. This is it. So let's pop it in. Let's screw it. Let's screw it in. Let's connect it and see if that short still exists. And let's see what happens when we manipulate the lock if it changes the state which it should so when we simulate a closing door we should be able to just close it this way and open it up what, did it work it's probably locked oh, this is the lock right here that's what this is
So when you test it, you should be able to hook it up and see if the module is being recognized inside the car. The light should be off, but you want to make sure it is closed. It should be closed. The light should be off. Pull the lever. It should be unlocked. So right now, it should not illuminate when I connect the test light. Which it is. Which means, well, I still got the door open and it's not simulating a closed position. So I'm gonna do, pull the lock mechanism down so I can get myself seated properly. I should have just used the piercing pin. So we're gonna close it. And it goes off. Pull the switch. Light should come back on. Light should come back on. And it's not. Okay, there it go. All right, I gotta make sure I'm not the problem here. It's hard to get in this position. Alright, we're gonna close it. Alright, we got it closed. Light should go out. Light should go out. It's not going out. I wonder why. Still staying on. Well, that's not good. Let's pull the handle. And it's still staying on. Should have went off. For some strange reason it, it didn't unless so the door is open too. Oh, still on. Did it go off? It went off. That's weird that oh, it's still on. That's interesting. The light is still illuminating and I simulated a closed position. Let me check the door switch, see what's going on with that. So some mistakes were made here. The wire I've been testing the whole time was this white wire and that needs to seemingly have constant ground. I'm not sure why, but it says switch in the diagram. But this yellow and black wire is the primary wire here that was actuating on and off when I would close it. So if I turn the switch, oh God, let's see if I can get something here. If I close the switch, I can get a good signal. If I close it, it goes off. If I open it, the light comes back on. So if I close it on the yellow and black wire, the light will not illuminate, open it it'll start illuminating. Now on the other sides, because this does have uh, issues, I did test the white wire on the other sides, like the driver's side, and it was actuating on and off. Um, so not entirely sure, but what I'll do is to try to redeem myself, let's just take the old one, put this in here and see if we can do the same test and uh, see if that same wire stays illuminated. So we're gonna hook back up here, test our circuit, and we're gonna hook up on that yellow wire. It should stay lit. It is. Now when I lock this, simulating a lock condition, it should go off. And it's staying on. So this one is definitely defective. So the new one, when we test that yellow and black wire, we simulate a closing position, it goes on and off. So it needs to, the ground needs to be absent on the yellow and black wire. So 
there's my correction there. So anytime I'm saying white, if I happen to say my mistake, I mean this yellow and black wire. Make sure the module's hooked up when you're testing it. So you kind of won't make my mistake. Because <laughs> mistakes do happen. And I'm not going to hide those. But what I'm going to do, continue on with the repair. Because we know for a fact that this module is defective. I'm going to transfer all the old parts to the new one. Get it installed. All right. Been a couple hours later and run off at the mouth. But I got everything put back together. The door is put back. The lights is now off. Let me pop the door open. So that works. Everything's working just as it should. We already know the driver door works. Oh. But in regards to repair, everything the repair is still gonna be legit uh, as far as the test of procedures testing procedure is still going to be legit it's just just got to switch the wires no different and um I th with that said i wish i would have uh ultimately you know like back test a few things but i don't check these cars typically prior and sometimes when i get bad information like i check the wiring diagram logically that switch is supposed to move you know we saw you can see the switch in the wiring diagram how it's supposed to operate call me crazy and i did check the rear driver side with and that wire was white okay uh, look the what diagram over here on the passenger side the, it showed a white wire and it said switch so i'd imagine that's the wire you check but things happen this car is fixed Test the procedure still applies. If anything happened, I'll definitely update. Just be sure to hit that link, subscribe to the channel, stay informed, had originals of my work. I'll see you on the next one.